Hello everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Today we got our first gameplay demo for the game and wow, does it look fantastic. I'm going to be playing some of it in the background right now so you can see what I'm discussing and how great it is. But I'm going to be analysing some of it today, talking about some key points and what I think of the upcoming game. But if you do want to watch the unedited gameplay, then click the link down below in the description to a direct link to EA Star Wars' channel where you can go and watch it in peace. I'm only going to be analysing it today, I didn't want to do a re-upload because that's quite boring in my opinion. So as we know, Jedi Fallen Order is going to be releasing on November 15th, 2019. It's coming out this year, it's been announced for a couple of years now. Respawn are making it, they made Apex Legends and Titanfall for anyone who didn't know. So on stage at EA Play today, which is EA's, you know, premium presentation before the big E3 event. This is my first uh, coverage before E3. Now they came out of Vince Zambella and also um, Stig, who's one of the gameplay directors, or he is the gameplay director, I think. And uh, they just talked about the game, and then they gave us a gameplay demo. Now one core thing I like about this gameplay demo, for myself, it very much reminds me of a Star Wars game I played the hell out of on PlayStation 2, which is called The Force Unleashed. Then he did Force Unleashed 2, which wasn't as good, but the Force Unleashed had this very cool fighting style with lightsabers and force combat, and it appears that I think Jedi Fallen Order draws inspiration from that. Not only drawing inspiration from uh, Force Unleashed, which is now a Legends game, this game, Jedi Fallen Order, is actually cemented in Star Wars canon, so you are playing in the active part of the Star Wars universe. The developers actually spoke about this by saying, you know, the character of Saw Gerrera, who we saw in Rogue One, is actually in Jedi Fallen Order, and he's up to something, which is quite cool. I always did like Saw Gerrera, because he's a very interesting character, and was always up to something for, you know, in the name of the Rebellion. So, uh, I can't wait to see more of what he gets up to. Now, so far, the combat style of, you know, the fighting style inside of this is looking fantastic. Lightsaber cuts actually, you know, cut Stormtroopers down in one shot you know, compared to other games where we didn't do much, was very cool, so I can't wait to see more of that. The Force abilities as well are looking brilliantly. And one thing as well, the AI, so like the AI Stormtroopers and the monsters around here, react differently based on what you do. So as one of the developers was saying, you can sit idly by while, you know, the Stormtroopers get eaten by a giant monster, while you, the player, can just sit there and watch. Or, if you want skill points, you can get involved and kill the entire lot or, you know, defeat them because they're the bad guys. And that's the type of gameplay I like. Dynamic and, you know, fluid gameplay like that, where you can get involved and play at your own, you know, discretion. I love. Not only that, we also got to see a bunch of variety of new stormtroopers and such. The robot, uh, which K2SO is, uh, was in it, the droid. I think he's called the KX series, isn't it? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been so long since I watched Rogue One and did that part of Star Wars lore. But this game is looking fantastic. Now, the gameplay demo actually takes place on Kashyyyk, which, as we know, is the homeworld of the Wookiees. We saw in episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, where it was under attack from the CIS and the clones were on there. And there was a famous line I remember from Star Wars Battlefront 2, the 2005 game. We were left as victors, but years later we returned as conquerors. And this is obviously set in the Empire's era, particularly when the Empire took over Kashyyyk and started, you know, enslaving the Wookiees and mining the planet of its natural resources and a variety of other techniques, which is, um, you know, quite a dark time for the Empire. I mean, most of the Empire was a dark time. But, you know, it's a dark time for the Wookiees because they're enslaved by the Empire. So it appears what our main character and Saw Gerrera are doing here is attempting to free the Wookiees and, you know, cause havoc for the Imperials as per usual. In this gameplay demo, they're apparently overriding some drills and or, like, cutting things and firing them into the Imperial base. I hear who's called Cal actually encounters one of these new Imperial special troopers who looks like you know a magna guard you know one of the droid magna guards he's got the staff for it and he's basically you know trained to combat jedi which is quite cool I presume in the same mission we'll most likely see the Inquisitor as well. Apparently the Inquisitor is a second sister. We've seen the Inquisitor in Star Wars Rebels before. We saw the Grand Inquisitor, who was voiced by Jason Isaacs. The second sister is inside this game, and I have a feeling we'll encounter her on Kashyyyk. Now this gameplay demo actually takes place like, uh, I think, three hours into the game. So this is where Cal is not, you know, a fully powered Jedi just yet, but he's not a Padawan either. So I think when the game begins, he's like a very young Padawan, and has been hiding away for many years since Order 66. So when we meet him at three hours in the game in this demo, he's learnt a lot more of his abilities, which is quite cool. I like that, because it means, you know, what, this super powerful Jedi straight away, we're going to have to learn with the character. And I really like gameplay like that in a way, because it's going to, you know, allow us to develop and learn with the character in a way. And I can't wait to see more of it. Obviously, this was only just a 15-minute demo. I mean, it was actually 13 minutes if we want to pull strings, but still, it was very fun. You've got this new droid companion as well, who I didn't catch the name of, but I think it's called Beep or something like that, or B1. I didn't like to catch the name of him, but he looks quite cool. He reminds me of, like, Someone took a macro, you know, one of those um, binocular things they use in the Clone Wars, and just plugged a droid into it. It's kind of what it looks like. 
Now, Kashyyyk is looking brilliant, I must say. Obviously, like I said, this demo takes place on Kashyyyk. It's looking beautiful. I mean, overall, I know I've repeated the same thing throughout this analysis. The game is looking beautiful, end of. I can't, you know, not say that because it does look fantastic. Now, you can tell this is made by Respawn because wall running is apparently a big thing in this game. You can see Cal, our Jedi hero, running around the walls. And you think, yeah, Respawn definitely had a hand in this one, to be honest. You also get to use the Force to stop spinning turbine blades so we can pass through them and such. Which I think is really cool. It does remind me again of the Force Unleashed and all you're cutting through Stormtroopers. And I'm going to have to sound like slightly evil here in a minute. I hate games where the Stormtroopers can apparently take a lightsaber hit. Because in canon, they can't. One hit to a lightsaber to a Stormtrooper and they are dead. But apparently in this game, you know, it works like that as well, where they can get cut down rather quickly. Which is cool, because it's like the Force Unleashed again, you know, Stormtrooper can't take multiple hits. They get diced down very quickly. I'm not sure. With the announcement of this game, I really want to go back and play the Force Unleashed. One a very cool little detail in this trailer is we see a B1 battle droid dead in like the back part of Kashyyyk, which is quite cool. Obviously it's a relation to the Clone Wars. We will see a Clone Trooper helmet though as well. There is going to be a ton of exploration things inside here. Now I do believe there's a slight detail wrong there because the Battle of Kashyyyk took place when the clones were in Phase 2 armor. So why are the Phase 1 helmets on the floor? I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to look at a deeper point. But there's definitely going to be a lot of lore to explore inside Jedi Fallen Order. And it's going to tie into Order 66 really well. And it appears it's going to target and tie in with the canon of Star Wars. Also saw a gonk droid there. Um, the canon of Star Wars, which is going to be quite nice. So I can't wait to see more of it. But overall, you're probably thinking, Jack, what do you think of Jedi Fallen Order so far? It is fantastic. That's simply what I can say. Obviously, we'll have to wait for more gameplay and trailer news to drop soon. But if you guys are interested, I might do an analysis of this trailer deeper to see what I can see, like B1 Battle Droids and the Clone Trooper Helmets, and see if we can come up with anything else. In the meantime, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for watching today. Again, if you want to watch the full 30-minute demo, it is available via link in the description. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.